Welcome to another video. Uh, today's video is going to cover how to use Python uh, to retrieve tweets from the Twitter API using the Python package or module Tweeby. Um, today, basically, you'll be able to retrieve any tweet based on a particular user. Um, it's a pretty straightforward script. Uh, we'll walk you through that. Uh, video one, I explained how you register and authenticate with Twitter by creating an account and then creating an app. Uh, if you have not seen that video, you can uh, click the link uh, below. Um, that video pretty much you know, gives you a straightforward way to set up an authentication stream um, and not stream, but authenticate with your app through Python using these uh, lines here. So it's, it's pretty simple. Go ahead and zoom in a little here. Today we're using Python 3.6. I'm also using Spider IDE. Um, uh, just to explain a little bit, uh, path variable, uh, I'm manually selecting uh, up here at the top right on this drop down, as well as um, I'm appending my path here based on where uh, my SQLite database uh, is. Uh, it's not necessary for this script, but for future lessons it will be. All right, so uh, I'm using the Tweepy module uh, or library. You can uh, simply install that if you have pip in the terminal by typing uh, pip base install base Tweepy, as well as the date time time. Uh, these might be standard in 3.6. I can't remember. Um, this private is a, um, a separate file that I explained in the first video. That contains my consumer secret and key as well as my app token and secret although it's the actual string literal um as you can see this is private temp this is just to kind of show how it's structured and then i'm invoking that file into this file by importing it here all right um i'm creating a, a function here that uh basically is um uh, I enter a username down at the very bottom. I pass through this to the function. So let's say SpaceX, uh, as well as I'm going to say, retrieve me all tweets that SpaceX has tweeted in the last two days or less than two days. So if we, let's say we could put three. Actually, we'll start out with two. Uh, you can pause this video right now. I'm sure you will uh, to type this out or to copy this script. Uh, some of the sources will be in the description as well as where to install Tweepy. All right, so if I run this script, uh, Control A and then Control Enter, you'll see in my console over to the right, there was only one tweet in the last day. Now targeting December 13th for launch of CRS 13 from SLS SLC 40 to allow for additional time for pre-launch ground systems checks. Uh, if I go out to their to their page, SpaceX, and you will see in the 20, within 20 hours, uh, that was the tweet it, it pulled. And the previous tweet was on December 8th. You can see my conditions are being met. Uh, so let's see, so December 8th, I believe there are some limitations on, I think it's two weeks or three weeks, how far, how, how far back you can go uh, to pull data uh, with using Tweepy. Let's do 14, we'll control A, control enter, and you can see it, it pulled this tweet before in my console, and then it also pulled uh, one, two, three. Let's go check the conditions. Uh, they had one on December 8th, seven years ago, December 6th, December 6th, and then we were greater than 14 days. So you can see the script is working as intended. Um, if you're trying to pull this data into a database, uh, in my lesson three video, I will show you how to stream that data or write that data to a SQLite database. Um, looking something like this. If we go back to database structure, you can see I have a couple tables here. And what we actually do within the script uh, is we will retrieve that data and then write it to a table. And you can create whatever relational database within SQLite. It's very friendly, very responsive, uh, as well as uh, there's a package in here called SQLite and also using JSON. So if you have any questions or co concerns or if it's not working for you, please leave me a comment down below. Just remember I'm using 3.6. Make sure your, your, path, your path variables, your environment variables are correct. Those were some of the pitfalls that I ran into early on using this, this uh, Tweepy. 
Uh, other than that, it should be pretty straightforward. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Have a great day.